Hey friends, welcome back. We pick you up this week as we head back to the Midwest. After exploring many different landscapes of California, a gold mining ghost town, and an open air art museum, we have finally booked it back to our home state of Oklahoma. Today's adventure is a circle back in time to a place we visited as kids. We are taking a local trip with some family to a huge wildlife preserve in Bartlesville, Oklahoma called Wooler Rock. Hi, guy. Wooler Rock is also a museum of art and history that showcases more Native American and Western artifacts that we had time to look at. That saddle was used by Theodore Roosevelt. A look at van life before vans. And a multitude of cool stuff to learn about. Whoa, what? It's trunk and head. Killers from space revenge. Dang. Wow. That's what you look like if you boil? Come along with us on today's journey as we discover why Will Rogers called Wooler Rock the most unique place in this country. If you enjoyed today's vlog, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see what we got coming up next. We start our visit to Willow Rock with a two mile drive in through the vast nature preserve. The 3,700 acre preserve is home to bison, Hi, guy. longhorns, deer, oh, that white one's pretty. llamas, elk, and we even saw an ostrich. Hi, guy. Once we make it to the grounds, we park the van, give Daisy a kiss goodbye, and see what there is to check out. Look at that Indian plane into blue. The grounds themselves are very beautiful and host many cool sculptures. Look how they did they these. They like a wood tin yeah. and They look like they, they would move. Yeah, they do. But they don't. They cool. Wait, huh? really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, Willow Rock is out of wool and wool will see. Yeah, that's where they got the name Willow Rock. Here we learn that Willow Rock was actually named by combining the three words to describe the landscape. Woods, lakes, and rocks. <laughs> oh, cool. First things first, let's check out the lookout tower. Up to the observation deck we go. Look at all of our adventures. Whoa. <laughs> Here we can see the vast sanctuary in all directions. I wonder what these are about. Oh, 12 miles that way to Bartlesville. Oh, that's oh. cool. With arrowheads pointing to the nearest landmark. Oh, look, there's more. Marched all three miles that way. The husband. Oh, 
Lit it up. Lit it up. Oh, that's Becca coming down behind us. Hello. Down from there, we wandered into the first building we saw. It had a theater that showed a short 15 minute film about the history of Willow Rock. We didn't stay to watch the whole film because we got distracted by the chaps on Frank Phillips. Some incredible stained glass. And a loft of amazing portraits of some very historical people. Anybody that can paint that good? No, I don't think so. Yeah, me neither. Next, we stopped by a little concession stand called the Buffalo Hunt, where you could order a buffalo burger. I personally think that's a little messed up for a preserve, but that's just my opinion. What about a buffalo burger? Longhorn burger. Cookies. <gasps> oh, buffalo Becca. chili. Yeah, two ounce container of fresh dressing. Beckle just has like three little. <laughs> I want to have a ranch when I'm older. No, I want to have lots of ranch when I'm older. That's weird. Lots of ranch? No. Lots of ranch? No. I said I want a ranch, not lots of ranch. That's just weird. She wants lots of ranch. French dressing. One French fry and two hot cocos. Yeah. I'm going to whip up those hot cocos. Thank you. And the French fry. Don't forget the French fry. Wola Rock is still a working ranch to this day, just like the kind that Becca would like to own one day. It was established in 1925 by Frank Phillips, the founder of Phillips Petroleum, who said, those of us who have been more fortunate have a debt to society, which I believe to be best paid by training and educating the youth of the nation. Because of this, all kids are free to visit Wola Rock. Really? My absolute favorite feature of the whole site is this buffalo that's been connected to a vacuum to collect garbage, which makes it fun for kids to collect trash around the area and dispose of it. Genius. I'll remember. Yeah. Whoa, we took it. I wonder if there's more trash. Here, we're looking for trash. Get that Give leaf. him all the trash. Get that leaf. <laughs> run, run. <laughs> run, 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 run. <laughs> This is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, does he like money? <laughs> you know we're all about leaving oh, our go. land better. Yep, that's a good piece. Oh. <laughs> yes, my turn. All right, here we go. This is mouth up. There it is. <laughs> but here's what you don't do to the buffalo vacuum. You read the sign. That's way too. That's what he does. She created. A, she put a blockage in his windpipe. You can hear it. Did. Thanks for that example, Mom. Can you reach it? <laughs> Stick my hand in his throat. Yeah, let's throw that in the garbage. Aw, oh, Mimo. You ruined the party for everybody. What do you mean you should? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm the one that knows about the buffalo. I'm the buffalo, the buffalo whisperer. Yeah, here we go. Oh. After a quick snack, we set our sights on this massive 50,000 square foot museum. This museum features over 600 paintings.
300 sculptures. Twenty three hundred Native American art and artifacts, I would share peace pipes too in order to peace pipes meant they could crack on stuff in it and pass it around. Oh, wait, what did they put on? They would pass it around amongst their friends, everybody in the in the right. teepee. It's a like a camaraderie thing, so they'd be brothers. And plenty of mountain animals. That's an elephant? What's the elephant doing over there? No way. Is it a stuffed elephant? Wow. Okay, so what I thought was cool about this museum is that each room was dedicated to show off a different aspect or time frame in history. Is this like how the Indians would live? Um, this is more like how the pioneers would live. Yeah, I wonder how. The Indians wouldn't, well, they would live in teepees. Man, this place just gets cooler and cooler, huh? <gasps> this is why we need to go. Oh my god. Okay, you need to come to Arkansas and dig crystals. You can dig them up yourself? Yeah, they Where dynamite at? a mountain and you get to dig crystals. The Are they all colorful like this? No, they're, yeah. like, no, they're, they're just cool. regular colors. Well, they're clear. Oh, they're clear. Yeah. I got oh, one that's really big. I mean, I need to clean it off. It's, it's got this rainbow pattern. Like this, the clear quartz. Yeah. My grandfather would spend hours in this one room. My grandfather was a geologist, so he loved rocks. Oh. That saddle was used by Theodore Roosevelt. That's some good woodland. What? They're shrunken heads. Enemies' heads were carefully reduced through boiling and heating in the attempt to lock in the enemy's spirit and protect the killers from spiritual revenge. Heads to shrink them down. Wow. That's real life people. Real people. I'm no. sure these are not real life people. Yeah, they but are. the process was. You can see how long their eyelashes still are. Even though their heads are so small, their eyelashes didn't get smaller. My hair doesn't shrink. That one's got nose hair. That's what you look like if you boil? Yeah, if you get shrunken down and you boil in hot water. That's crazy. Like if they made a raisin out of a grape, that's what Once removed from the pot, the head would be about a third of its original size and the skin dark and rubbery. The skin would then be turned inside out and any leftover flesh scraped off with a knife. <laughs> this one really took us by surprise. This place is huge. It really just keeps going. Yeah. This particular display really sparked my imagination as I pictured what our family would look like still living as nomads before it became so easy. This is like van life for the old days. I know it is. They got their little makeup spot over here. Yeah, and there's the, that's the sink. The original van life. Dinner table. Yeah. Kitchen. All kinds snake. of stuff. Snake. Oh yeah, they got their snake. Pet snake. Yeah. They're on point with this. They are. Look at all the tools on that side of the wagon. This is the original van life. Not only are there tons of artifacts surrounding Native American and Western history, but also a world-class collection of art, including pieces from artists like Frederick Remington, Charles M. Russell, William R. Lee, Frank Tenney Johnson, Thomas Moran, and many, many more.
I honestly feel like we didn't have enough time to really enjoy the eclectic amount of artwork this museum had to offer. We could have spent all day here, but Liv's mom had other plans. Mother-in-laws are great. There are also different rooms showcasing collections of toy trains. He collected everything, didn't he? It's a big train set. Okay, that's real cool. My personal favorite, the Colt Firearm Collection. and even airplanes. In fact, this entire museum actually started in an airplane hangar and it displayed this exact airplane. As the museum grew, more was eventually added to what we know now. Can you imagine seeing a one room museum with an airplane going into a 50,000 square feet museum on a 3,700 acre nature preserve? Talk about life folks. Everything I've seen here, I did not expect. A lot of stuff. Let us know in the comments your favorite part about this museum. Phillips had a love for wildlife, preserving history and heritage, and inspiring, educating, and entertaining. It's clear to see that his spirit still lives on here today. Woola Rock is described as a sanctuary, which I find to be true not just for the animals, but for people of all kinds as well. I think it's very admirable that such a wealthy man saw it as an obligation to pay back to his local community. The grounds of Woola Rock also have two miles of nature walking trails to get a more up close view of the wildlife, a living history area so visitors can experience the life of a mountain man camp in the 1840s, and also the Frank Phillips Lodge. We didn't go into the lodge on this visit, but the history it showcases is of Frank Phillips' own life and story, and the lodge is often rented for events and weddings as it overlooks Clyde Lake. I was surprised to find that Woola Rock is really a full day activity. If you plan to visit, dedicate the time to really explore everything you would like to see. There's plenty of it for everyone. When it comes to museums like these, a lot of their funding will come from gift shop purchases. I definitely recommend stopping in. They offer a ton of unique items for a reasonable price. Derek bought this buffalo. Wow, that's kind of cool. Dang. That's really pretty. It's $21. That's a great deal. That really is. I love this peace pipe. And we bought this peace pipe to put in the van. We also bought local salsa and jams with a buy two, get one free offer. We already devoured the salsa but they also had my favorite souvenir of all. Let's see it. Perfect. Hold it up. Crushed pennies. I have a beautiful. whole collection. It's beautiful. Nice. Good I love job. it. Thanks for coming to hang out with me. Yeah. I'll see you guys again. Yeah, I want to go to the petting zoo too. I just didn't want to tell yeah, the kids that. <laughs> this is really cool. You like it up here? Too. Yeah. Now that the kids are gone, it's time to do some adulting and circle back around to the petting zoo. See, I knew it. Oh my gosh. Hi, guys. Hi. There's a zebra. Coming over to me. Oh no.
All those noises are just him. <laughs> hi, guy. Yeah, hi. I want to pet you, but I can't. Do you want to me? Bye, Belize. Look at that donkey. Hi. Hey, buddy. Hello. for you. <laughs> but I wish I did. He's pregnant. Oh wow. This donkey's pregnant, Mom. <laughs> Look, that's a, already a baby right there and she's got another one coming. How are you going to afford all these babies? <sighs> I just want to pet your head. This big up there. So cute. Hi, sheep. Hi. <gasps> oh, he's so little. Look at one. I, s I saw a van tour on YouTube of somebody that had a goat. We could have a little goat like that. A little white goat. Oh, he's so cute. Comment below if you guys think we should get a pet goat. Oh, look at that. He's close to you. Give him a little kiss. Don't give him a kiss. He's so close. Oh my gosh. Hi there, buddy. Hi. The bird following us. Hi, Billy. <laughs> yeah, he wants some of your chips. First van lifers with a pony. Yeah, This is a pretty cool place. Light enough, so that means we need a lock on the Oh my gosh, it's all the crazy dogs. She's gone. Come on, Lily. <laughs> Mama. Can you see her? She's just a shaking. That's what we were trying to figure out. Yeah, it is Christmas lights. Yeah. We'll let them know at the gate. Oh, poor guy. When we let the front gate know about this, they told us that they were already aware and it's best just to let all the Christmas lights come off naturally. He'll be fine. Let us know in the comments if you guys have been to Willow Rock or plan to add it to your travel list. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon.